Hey everyone, how you doing today? As I shared on my daily financial news uh, this morning, I have released new content for my Get Your Mind Money Right course. It is something I call choices. This was inspired by some articles that I have seen where 30 year olds are retiring financially free. And my utter frustration that people don't realize that they have choices that drive how big a hill they have on their financial freedom journey. I believe in this so much. I'm asking each of my experts to go through this with me. I'm giving you, you can see the spreadsheets. If you really wanted to save a hundred bucks, you could copy this and go for it, no problem. The course has a lot more than this, but this is brand new stuff. So we have Omar up for round two of choices. How you doing, buddy? Good, what's up, Michael? Always a pleasure. Yeah. Look forward yeah. to Tuesdays every week. I appreciate that. You have no idea what you've signed up for, but I appreciate you doing this with me. Let me share the spreadsheet and uh, we, will start, we will go through it. So can you see it? Uh, it is loading, loading. <laughs> there it is. All right. So what we are going to do together, we will, there are 10 worksheets. There's actually 11, but the 11 okay. is a summary. We will go through this one in detail. And then we'll, we'll just go through the top line numbers on the next nine so we don't bore people. But the idea is, Let's go. I want you to answer 10 questions. We're gonna start with what are you spending today? So for example, number one, usually the largest housing cost is what does your family spend on housing? This is your primary, right? Uh, mortgage payment if you have it, rent if you're paying it, insurance, taxes, just what does it take? Round numbers are fine. Then what we're gonna do- just is, my Primary, yeah, yeah, just primary. We're not talking rentals yeah. or any of that stuff. This is, what is it? What we're gonna figure out is what does it take to live Omar's life? But then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two other things. We're gonna step back here and we're gonna go, what's the minimum? So for example, right? For me, maybe I sell this house I'm in and we go rent in a cheaper part of town, for example. That is an option we have. Again, a choice we can make. Or if we wanted to live, you know, the high life, um, you know, my goal that I've shared many times is to have three houses around the world. Well, that's expensive, right? If I'm going to go chase the sun, that's just expensive. So does that make sense what we're doing? What are we spending today? Yeah. If we wanted to make sacrifices and cut to the bone, what's the minimum that you would accept, right? You're not going to accept living in your car, for example. So it's not zero. And then what's the Mac daddy? I had it all, what we would do. Does that make sense? We're going to do this 10 times on 10 different areas. Let's go. All right. So what is Omar- been yeah. today rough and tough on housing my primary residence is 2100 dollars. okay all right now if you wanted to sacrifice move to a cheaper part of town smaller home double up the kids whatever it is what what's the minimum you think you could accept uh a paid off home <laughs> all right so you so your cost would be what 400 bucks, 500 bucks for taxes, insurance, stuff like that. Yeah. Let, let's call it $500. Okay. All right. Very okay. Cool. Yeah. If I sell this house, take all the money, bam. Pay something know. else off. No mortgage. You just have Down, to downsize completely. Yeah. yeah. Downsize. Exactly. That's exactly it. Right. You've chosen a lifestyle now, but you do have the choice. You can take the equity you have now, roll it into something else, live in a different part of town. It's always a choice. So mm -hmm. what's the Mac daddy upgrade second homes, you know, what, what oh, for sure on the upgrade, um, sold the house, take all the money and probably have a, let's call it a $5,000 mortgage in Laguna Beach. There you go. Okay. So that's what we're going to do across nine other topics. Uh, and again, right. numbers are perfect. So next is transportation. So for me, right, uh, no car payments for me, but I do have taxes and insurance and gas and all that stuff. So again, what, what are you spending today just on transportation? Oh, uh, my truck payment is eight. Yep. And let's say gas. Um, you know what? Let's just say sixteen hundred. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's say sixteen hundred dollars yeah. with, with all the the vehicles and the gas and everything. insurance yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then if you wanted, because again, one thing I looked at is you know what? We don't need two cars. What if we went to one car? I mean, again, it's all about what's the minimum we would accept. Cut to the bone. Okay. Again, so what would be the minimum you think? Uh, right there would only be gas. So call it, yeah, 400 bucks because okay. I'd sell the truck, yep. keep the other two paid off vehicles. There you go. Okay, lowest option. 
there you go. Exactly. Okay. And then if you wanted to go Mac Daddy, you wanted to upgrade, get a toy, you know, whatever it is. Um, let's say I'm going to get the, that Lambo Urus, which is yeah. that SUV that I really, really want. Oh, those the Lambo. And probably, I've, I've only seen those. I'm going to say probably Hills. $1,800. Okay. Yeah. So that's 18. Freaking dope, man. Oh, it's it's nice just car. the high end. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 1800 bucks. Yeah. So, it's, so just so I'm clear. Leave two, it at 2000. Okay. Two grand. All right. So again, this is fun. Okay. Now food, right? For us again, just kind of Put it in here. Olivia and I eat out a lot. It's just the two of us. Some people look at this going, oh my God, you spend two grand on food. Yes, this is where we splurge. But again, you know, and you have a, a, a kid at home and all of this. So what, is, what does your family spend on groceries, eating out, delivery, all that Jeez. stuff? Probably, I mean, we don't eat out much. Okay. So I would say um, 300, 369, 12. You know what? Let, yeah, let's say fifteen hundred dollars. Okay. And then, if you wanted to cut to the bone, still got to eat, but yeah, less. Yeah, let's say seven. Seven hundred. Okay. Yeah. And then, if you wanted to, splurge, I remember at the restaurant, beans yeah. and rice. Beans <laughs> and rice. Beans and rice. Baby. Beans and rice. <laughs> I've been. I know that lifestyle. For me, it was ramen noodles. Do I add the packet or not? Yeah. <laughs> I know, cool. right? Yeah. And then, if you just wanted to, you know, go nuts and, you know. Um, yeah, I would probably say four grand. Okay. That's like eating out, dinners, yeah. weekends, you know, two, three hundred dollar nights. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next up, we got entertainment. You know, for us, this would be the warrior tickets. Actually, you know, mine's more like two grand. But anyways. But yeah, so entertainment, concerts, movies, um, season tickets, you know, whatever. Yeah. You know. Maybe you don't do it. I, I don't would know. say a G. Okay. And then if you wanted to, you know, minimum, and it can be zero. I'm, I'm good. You know what? You know what? Yeah. Don't even put zero. Put like one game a year, a Dodger game. I'd say I'm going to spend 400 bucks, you know, with some beers and everything else. So that's a year. So we'll say 50 bucks a month. Cool. No, 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 no. $400. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. That's for 50 bucks a month. Yeah. Yeah. And then if you wanted to, yeah. you know, splurge and get Dodger season tickets and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, let's, yeah, I like that. $2,000 a month, $24,000 a year for, you know, wasting yeah. time. There you go. All right, vacations. You know, 1000 bucks a month, it could be zero. I mean, just what, what, what do we, could uh, what? Shit, man, I, I, I don't vacation. Okay. Which is probably a bad thing. So let's just say, you know what? Yeah. Let's say 500 bucks. Let's say six grand a year. Okay. So that's the minimum. Or that's where you are. All right. And then if you wanted to cut it out. Zero. Okay. And then if you wanted to splurge and travel first class and you know, all that stuff. Like twice, three times a year, go somewhere super nice, yeah. pay all that stuff. I'd say it would, yeah, I would say 6,000, uh, uh, you know, call it. That's 70 this grand is a year. per month here. Yeah, this is monthly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Like, I just do $2,500. Okay. Right. All right. There we go. Cool. We're almost done. Kids, what are we spending on the kids? Their clothes, their toys, their extras, their education, their tutoring, you know, all that stuff. Uh, Probably a month, I'd say, yeah, 1500 bucks. Okay. If you wanted to cut some of that stuff out. Just call it 500. Okay. And then if you wanted to go nuts and get the, the Mandarin teacher and the music teacher and all that stuff. Let's do, yeah, let, let, let's keep it at 5K. Okay. Hobbies, you know, play golf or, yeah, I don't know, other stuff. Any f yeah. Uh, bo boating. There you go. Uh, boating, hanging out, baseball. Yeah, yeah exactly. I don't know. Let's call it 700 bucks. And then if the minimum, a couple hundred. Okay. And if you wanted to go nuts, 1500. Okay. All right. I think we've got two more or actually three more oh. insurance. So for us, this is a big one, right? Health insurance for us is expensive. We don't, oh. 
We don't have employers, umbrella insurance, life insurance, all that stuff. What do we spend in a month? It's about, yeah, about 1700 bucks. Okay. Right now. And then if you wanted to cut stuff out, reduce stuff, cancel life insurance, whatever. Never cancel life insurance. A thousand dollars. Agreed. And then if you wanted to go get extra insurance, you know, other things. Uh, yeah, I like that. Three, three grand a month for okay. sure. All right. All right. Two more clothes, right? Do you, do you buy clothes, new outfits, your wife likes shoes, you know, I don't know, whatever. Call it a thousand dollars a month. Okay. And then no, that's a lot actually. Shit, that's, that's a lot. lot. That's a lot. Yeah. 500. Yeah, no. Yeah, that's a lot. Never mind. Uh, 500 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're flossing. <laughs> All right. Minimum. A couple hundred. Yeah, that makes sense. And then if you wanted to go, you want to go flex a little bit. What are you thinking? A thousand. Okay. All right. And then the last one's kind of a catch all. Cause I don't know if I got it all. I wanted to do this exercise in 10. So do you have extras of charities or other stuff that we may not have captured that you're like, Hey, you forgot this. No. Um, no? Oh, you know what? Yeah. Um, let's call it, let's call it 1500 bucks. A month. Okay. All right. Then if you wanted to cut that, what's the lowest you'd accept? 500. Okay. And if you wanted to go bigger? Three grand. Okay. All right. So you ready for this? The Let's whole, ex this whole exercise folks is to realize that you individually, you, your family make choices for how high your financial freedom is. How far away is it? So again, feel free to copy this buy the course. I don't care, but this is what we are trying to get to. So here we go. This is going to be interesting. Da, da, da. There we are. So Omar, you are right now spending rough and tough, just round numbers, 12,600 bucks to live your life. If you successfully bring in 13 grand a month, you are financially fee free. Congratulations. However, if you made life choices, the smallest hill you could have, and this was about where we were as well, is about four grand. I promise you folks, when you do this exercise and you're beginning your journey, it is far easier to climb a hill that is 4,000 than it is 12,000. But realize there is another hill. If you were out here chasing everything and living life and YOLO and fear of missing out and all this other freaking nonsense you see on social media, it would take Omar 29 grand a month to be financially free. This is life choices, folks. You don't realize that every day you whip out your credit card, you are making choices. Are you trying to live the high life? Are you trying to live on champagne, but with a beer budget? You guys don't get it. This exercise that I call choices drives education. That couple that retired in their 30s chose to live here, and I applaud them for it. Don't you can't have it both ways. You can't flex here and retire here. It's not how life works. So what do you think? What, what do you think of this whole exercise I put together? This is cool. It's really cool because that, that middle area right here, and it's like, it's pretty, you know, it's close. spot on, yeah. pretty close. Obviously, you and I both have different, um, what do you call it, the expenses for all the houses we have. Oh, so of course. This is like uh, 10 that. times that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We're not including that. <laughs> yeah. But this, um, this but, is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, what's crazy is I used to do this, not specifically, but I would, would write down every dollar I would spend on a monthly basis. And at the end of the, the month, I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Exactly. That I spent 10,000, $11,000 and I wasn't even making a hundred K a year. Yeah. And, and then now I don't, you know, I don't, I don't track it anymore. Cause I just always increase my top mm -hmm. line. Yeah. Uh, and I think you do well too. Oh, you yeah. don't need to anymore, but still yeah. um, it's different now. Yeah. It's, I, I, I'm trying to do this again. I'm calling it an exercise. I put out a video at 7am this morning. I'm challenging people to do it. I'm asking my experts to do it, which hopefully shows you how important it is to me. Um, because if you want financial freedom, it starts at home guys. It starts at home. Man, so I appreciate you going through this. Any closing thoughts? Yeah, that's good. I need a copy of that. That's good. I, I will get it to you. Absolutely. Yeah. Perfect. All right, but thank you very much. We will go through uh, working with sellers and working with buyers next. Uh, very cool. Thanks, buddy. Let's go.